Peace be to you. By the end of my speech, you will be convinced that mathematics and English alphabet can be used to prove Christ Jesus is what you need hereafter. Mathematicians say life is like a line segment drawn from point B to point D. What is point B to point D? It's from point of birth, B, to point of death, D. So life starts from the moment we are born, B, until the day we die, D. But in the middle of B, birth, and D, death, is a mysterious C. What is C then? It is Christ Jesus. If we put Christ in the middle of our life, birth to Christ thence to death, our life will not end at D, but extend to E. What is E? It's eternal life. So all those who put Christ in the middle of their life have eternal life after death. But those who do not put Christ in the middle of their lives don't have eternal life after death but they have F, fire. Therefore the mathematical equation or definition of life for Christians is B plus C plus D equal to E. Birth plus Christ plus death equal to eternal life. Do you agree? Yes or no? And the mathematical equation or definition of life for unbelievers, open bracket B minus C close bracket plus D equal to F. Birth to Christ plus death equal to fire. In other words, whoever skips Christ Jesus will end at D, which is both physical and spiritual death. Likewise the equidistance jumps from B to D will logically apply and he or she will miss E, and end at F, which is fire of hell. So, anyone that avoids C, will surely lose E which is eternal life. Only Christ Jesus has been given the power by the Father Yahuwah to impart eternal life. You may ask as to why the Father Yahuwah only appointed Lord Jesus Christ to impart eternal life? In Romans 5 verses 12, 19 and 21, Apostle Paul was inspired by the Spirit of Truth to write, Even as sin entered the world through one Adam, and death through sin, so also death passed to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. That as sin has reigned unto death, even so might favor reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Yahshua the Messiah, our Savior. In other words, you need only one saviour because sin entered the world by one Adam and likewise by the obedience of one Lord Yeshua, all shall be made righteous through him. For scriptural references, please check the following passages whether or not you can skip Christ Jesus and escape the fire of hell hereafter. 1 John 5 verse 11 to 13, Acts 4 verse 12, John 5 verse 34, Romans 10 verse 1. John 3 verse 16 and 17, Revelation 20 verse 11 to 15. This is absolutely amazing to see that English alphabet and mathematics can show us that Christ Jesus must never be missed in the equation of our life. There's always blessing in sharing. So share with others. He that wins a soul is wise. Do the work of an evangelist now by sharing this message to all in your groups and contacts. Christians disciple others in order to obey the great commission of Lord Jesus Christ and do the works for eternal reward from him. However, all other religions in the world command you to work out your own salvation in order to earn a place in paradise or to achieve a high reincarnation. In Christianity, salvation is by the grace of Lord Jesus Christ and not by work which none of us can boast. But the judgment will be executed upon every soul based on his or her deeds or works. After the day of great judgment, Lord Yeshua the Anointed One, will sit on the throne of the Father and of the Lamb in the new Jerusalem city in a new earth, and his followers will serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name should be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For Yod Hewa Halohim gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever, based on Revelation chapter 22 verse 3 to 5. Shalom.